Hi everyone, I am really excited today because I have finished Small Victories and I am going to show you um, a flip through of the completed book which is, uh, I'm always so excited when I finish a book but also slightly sad. I only just finished the last picture and you know, it's lovely, it's a really nice feeling to finish a book but it's such a lovely book but anyway, I can always get another copy. Now I'm just going to show you this um, first. This is a um, index sheet which I produced for the book. So it's got a list of every page um, on it and a space to write when I started the page, when I completed the page, I, I and then what I which pencils I use. So it's a good. I've kept it so that. Um, I can tell you what pencils I use for each page as I flip through but this is available for you for free in my Kofi shop um, I'll put a link in the description so you can grab it if you want to do the same thing for this book I know quite a few of you have already but um, just in case you haven't um, it is there and there are sheets like this for all of Johanna's not all of Johanna's books most of Johanna's books and some of Rita Berman's books and lots of other free stuff in my Kofi shop as well so just so that you know that's there so you can have a little mooch if you want to swap sheets um comparison pencil um swatch charts there's all sorts of things anyway let's get on with the flip through so we need to get a little bit closer I think there we go now I haven't colored the cover I rarely do I've done it once I'm not keen on covers coloring so I haven't done the outside although I have done the inside here because um, I'm just going to come out a tiny bit because when the book flips you can't see there we go um, I I the outside gets grubby so I don't color it whereas and I'm not sh very keen on the material because it was such a small bit I thought I'd just have a go and uh, I used um, Ergosofts here and it coloured fine on this sort of matte paper so that was good although you know it's quite hard colouring I had to put something underneath um, there. Now this one um, is um, I think I'm going to need to use a pen to uh, keep my place on my chart so yes this um, title page um, was coloured with polychromos and there's a bit of gold pen on there I don't know if it's easy to see so on there in the stars I used some gold pen and uh, did that one so uh, just a big mishmash really I just didn't think about colour scheme I just enjoyed myself and coloured all sorts of things this one I tried to keep to a more limited palette um, there and just did the leaves all different greens which was quite fun um, that one was also done with polychromos now I used a lot of Ergosoft and polychromos on this page on in this book because you need a nice sharp point on your pencil some brands aren't so good for that for keeping the point and I didn't want to be forever sharpening now these are done with polychromos as well I actually use quite a similar colour to that one which is interesting but uh, there are those now this um, butterfly um, symmetrical design, I used Pablo pencils for this one. Didn't find them quite so easy to use because keeping the point, sharp point, is a little bit more tricky. But uh, I like the colours and the Pablo, so I had a go. Now this page was done with Stedler Design Journey pencils. Yeah, I can see that actually looking closely. I was almost going to do this one as a video, but... I noticed that other people had, I think, um, uh, is it Marit's Colourful Adventure, something like that? And um, Emily Illustrator had also done this page, so I thought I would leave that because there are other videos. I know some of you probably don't follow them, but you could go and find them if you wanted. But um, I just uh, decided not to. There are so many pages in here that could potentially be videos that I didn't do all of them. However, I did do this one. Now you may have seen these, so they did this one at Christmas time and then this one sort of New Year's and then I just did the others later. So uh, that those were done with um, Ergosoft pencils uh, mainly, I think. I think some might have been Stedler Design Journey, They're, they've got the same colours so it's quite difficult to tell which are which. And um, this one was also done with Ergosoft pencils. This some um, pink is a particular favourite of mine, although I'm not a pinky person. I do like this sort of more salmony pink, which is um, number number 25 in the uh, Stedler set. Got a bit of a drew a line there. 
Now this one was done with polychromos. I looked at it thinking it might have been Derwent, but I can see now that it isn't. Um, polychromos and there's some gold pen for the stars and things. Didn't do a background. I think because the house is quite pale, if I'd done sort of a night sky, it would have um, gone on top of that. Now, the houses. I find houses quite difficult to know what colour to do them. So on this page, I just decided to keep them all the same. And I've done that quite a lot through the book on the house pages. And I actually um, rather like the fact that they match. Um, these are done with Stedler Design Journey pencils. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to keep them the same. And this isn't the first house page that I coloured. Um, I did The first one I did, I really liked, so I sort of copied that idea through. These, I uh, really enjoyed the simplicity of this. Um, I did them with Stedler Design Journey pencils using a mix of browns and greens, a sort of autumnal thing. And then I just used some sort of... Um, pastels around them to uh, make it look a little bit more less plain I suppose but I like the simplicity I don't think there really was a need to do a background I just thought I would have a go and see what it looked like dinosaurs what color are dinosaurs who knows so I just did them brown so that the leaves would stand out and it would sort of work so uh, and I just did the ground in brown I didn't do a background for this one because them being on top of each other it didn't look like it was a sort of complete page. It was in bits, if that makes sense. It's the pages where I've got repeated items I don't really, not really doing backgrounds for. Now I did this one with um, Castle Arts um, soft touch pencils, but I got a little bit irritated by having to keep sharpening them because they are a little bit soft um, compared to polychromos and things. But um, it was a nice challenge to use a different pencil. Now this one was done with Black Widows. Now I wasn't too keen to be honest on how well the Black Widows went down on this paper. Usually I'm quite a fan of Black Widows but I don't know whether I just wasn't quite in the mood for them or something like that, I'm not sure. But um, that was uh, that was those so I didn't use those very much in the book after. Now this page is a series, tutorial series, which will be coming up later on my channel. Um, I recorded um, for you. I did this in Black Widows and actually was happy. So I don't know why I wasn't happy with that one, but this is Black Widow pencils. So that's coming up later for you in three parts. It's got one, two, three, and the last one has the background as well. So uh, look out for that coming up. Now here is the first sort of set of matching houses I did. I was so pleased with this page. Um, what did I use for this one? Pablo pencils. And um, although they didn't work so well on the butterfly page, they came out well on this one. I think sometimes it just depends how much time and patience I spend on the page. But I was really happy with those. This page, again, was I had to use um, really, I think I used polychromos. But I'm not entirely sure, because um, it actually looks like those dots there have gone slightly pink, which doesn't happen with polychromos. So they aren't polychromos pencils, so I've got no clue. Because so Stedlers don't do that either. So unless I use very thin, but I don't think there's a very thin in that colour. So I don't know what I used for that. But um, you need a very fine pencil, and I didn't do it as a tutorial because it might have been Black Widow. Don't know. Didn't do it as a tutorial because they're so small. You know, I sort of thought something like this is a little bit basic um, unless I'd done a sort of a whole row. But this page was a set of six tutorials. I particularly liked this one. I don't know why that one, I liked how that one came out the best. It's, uh, it doesn't matter really why, I suppose. Um, that was done, also done with Black Widow pencils. Um, I did quite a few with uh, Black Widows, I guess. Now this page, I was experimenting with um, with Prismacolors because I thought I need to use some in here on this paper, see how they go down. So I was quite pleased with this one, the golds and the brights. And then this one, I thought, I don't know, I'll do some pastels with wood. And it looked awful. I thought the wood was too dark for the pastel colours. It just, ugh. And this one, I just did wood. And again, I don't like reddy browns very much and I wasn't very pleased with it. So I really only like that one. But, you know, it was a bit of an experiment, so why not? 
This one, however, I was happy with. Um, polychromos pencils and different pink theme for each set of flowers. So we have the sort of um, more fleshy pinks, as they used to be called, sort of corals. This was the more carmines. This is the, um, that's like the fuchsia, I think. And this is more the sort of purple pinks and then different greens to go with them. So I had a lot of fun messing around with different pinks on that page. Now this one here is a series that I've only just finished recording for you. It's going to be coming out in the mornings. Um, well, it depends what time of day you are. Mornings for me. Um, and I'm particularly pleased with this butterfly and this butterfly and this butterfly. But um, yeah, I enjoyed recording that one for you. So, ho so hopefully you'll enjoy it. So that will be coming out in the future. Now, oh, sorry. And it's some polychromos. Now, these two pages, um, both of them with polychromos as well. Um, these aren't videos, but I just did them myself. There were a lot of flowers in this book. And uh, I tried to, I didn't do many. I did some flower videos, but not loads because, you know, I didn't want it to be too much the same. And some pictures I just wanted to have a go at on my own, you know. <laughs> so that's that. But what I was going to say to you was... Um, I have got a copy of this um, book in my Amazon wish list, and if I get a lot of requests for videos for pages that I haven't recorded, um, I'll grab another copy and I'll make more videos for you. But I am planning, I've got lots of other things planned for you, so we'll see how it goes really. Now this one, not very impressed with how that one came out, and I use very thin, uh, you know, the Prismacolor very thin, they seem to slide about on the paper a little bit, uh, this didn't. I'm not really very good at using them, so I wasn't very happy with how that came out. This one, though, I really felt very happy with, and I used Derwent. Now, Derwent pencils are quite thick, so there's a lot of sharpening going on, and uh, I wasn't sure how good that would be. But the earthy colours of the Derwent, particularly the drawing pencils, which are gorgeous colours, um, just felt right for this page and I just had great fun. Now if you like this colour scheme in this page, um, I have seen there's someone else who's done tutorials for this page which are these sorts of colours and it looks lovely so you can find some if you want to on, uh, on YouTube. Now this page again was one I considered doing tutorials for but I didn't because um, I've done a lot of foodie ones before from um, one of Johanna's previous books. I wasn't sure if it would be too much the same. So uh, yeah, so I didn't. And I used for these um, Stedler Design Journey because of the little teeny details. Now this one I used Ergosoft. Um, I did this really early on. It's a it's a really cute picture I think Johanna's done for us there. I didn't um, do too much fancy, just, just giving it some lovely light colours really. Now these hand-tied bouquets just going to turn over my page, were a series. So there's nine videos for this page and they were done with polychromos. Um, I really enjoyed um, making that series and I hope that you um, liked it if you've watched it. Now this page um, I did with various pencils because I didn't do them all at the same time. I haven't really written down when I did them. But I did some of them as my sort of advent calendar in December and some of them at other times. So there's a bit of a mix of different pencils. And also each circle has got a gold, um, a metallic, sorry, pen round it, different colours, not just gold. So which sort of matches the background bit. And so I don't quite know what I used. I know that I, I missed that one as well. There's no metallic pen on that one. <laughs> I just noticed. Whoopsie. There's always something I've missed. There's probably other things I've missed too. Now, this is another video coming up. A lot of people asked me to do this page as a video. And again, I felt like doing it matching. So it's only one video, which is an hour long, doing all of them sort of in one go. So I hope that's okay and uh, you can look at that in the future whenever it comes out. I've got really ahead with my videos so it will come out at some point and that's polychromos but you can follow in any colour, any brand of course. Um, now this page um, is uh, actually done with Ergosoft um, because I found it quite daunting. The things on shelves, we had these sorts of pages in Johanna's previous book and I found it quite daunting as well. I did do some videos for you. 
but um, I just decided if I used Erga Soft with only 36 colours then it would be less daunting because I wouldn't have so much to choose from and that's what I did and actually once I got into it basically I just did one item at a time didn't think about I did all the shelves first and you know the actual wood bits and then I just worked through each item at a time and broke it down and didn't try and look ahead and think you know and then that really helped me and it was a lot of fun in the end and I didn't do too much shading or anything too fancy I just got through it made it nice and bright so it's different now I can't remember what I used for this bird um I think I may have used polychromos looking at the colors I'm pretty sure those are carmines and manganese violet I'm pretty sure and there's a silver pen around here and this looks a bit like ultramarine in the background now this one I did as a valentine's page I did this is one video and this is one video so you can have a look at those if you want to have a see what colors I used and maybe you know color along with it um, that was done with chromaflow pencils which work beautifully in this book I have to say I do have the 24 set so I don't have a huge amount so I haven't used them loads because if I'm doing a page where I want lots of colours then I don't have the selection in my chroma flows but um, they are lovely pencils now this one reminded me of a page from Secret Garden and I used Castle Arts for this one and in the background there I've used a black pen and then there's gold pen around the outside and I think the black pen really worked to help it stand out and um, black pens have the do that but I get a bit daunted doing a black pen background when there's loads but there's only a little bit here so uh, it was nice and easy for me I found pen quite hard um, to do without leaving lots of little white gaps and things like that. that's a totally different technique now this one I used my Tombow Erogiton pencils and I just coloured each one as a separate thing so I didn't try and match them up I just coloured each one differently now this is one that I've been requested to do as a video so I did, it'll be coming up soon. It's my hair in the page, lovely. Um, I used um, blah, 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 um, Stedler Design Journey for these. So those are coming up, um, there's one video for each jar so you can follow along and it, I think it qu was quite a good opportunity to show you how to do backgrounds because I find that easier in a jar rather than trying to make it just look like see-through which is quite hard so um, I find it easier to do that sort of background so that there are those coming up for you this one is also done with Stedler Design Journey but there's no video for this one I did it quite early on and I just um, matched up some of the colours so to try and keep it looking a bit less wild <laughs> I did all the fish in pinks and purples all the coral in sort of oranges browns and reds and then all the plants in green and it just I think it helps it to look a little bit more coherent now the cupcakes these were a set of videos um, there was a Christmas one here and then all sorts of other videos um, for those so if you want to um, have a look at those you can this one and they were done in I think it looks like Stedler Design Journey to me yep and these were also done instead of design journey this wasn't a video though I just had a little go one day because I was fancying it now this one felt to me more like a full page which is why it's got a background and we have our koi carp um, that is colored in um, polychromos and uh, yeah there's a bit of glitter pen on the um, bubbles and that's a soft pastel background now the ducks I was a little bit not sure how to colour them you can see that by I think um, I used um, Stedler Design Journey I like the bottom dark the top one is a bit more random colours I'm not sure I like it quite so much but anyway had a go um, I felt a bit of pressure because they're so lovely to colour them really well and I don't think I really necessarily achieve that but hey it doesn't always quite come off now this is a current video series that's running at the moment um, the one I showed you that I said with the bugs that covers up after this one finishes so uh, they've got quite a while yet before the other one starts but um, so yes this one um, is running now um, I had such fun with this one so I hope you're enjoying it 
um, polychromos for that one. Now this building I did really early on with Stedler, or was it a go soft? I've written down that I used polychromos, but I don't think I did. I'm sure that's Stedler the design journey because of these browns look like Stedler. And then there's um, a bit of soft pastel in the background to make some clouds, really simple with my cloud stencil. This one again did very early on. I think I should have been a bit more adventurous with my colour because I think it looks a bit boring to be honest and I haven't done that circle or anything. I don't know why. Anyway, I guess perhaps I got bored of using the same colour. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Um, but that's Stedler Design Journey pencils. This one though, I, in, I really liked this page and I wasn't sure how to tackle it. And in the end I decided to use a very limited colour palette and I'm really pleased. Um, I used Ergosofts and as you can see I just used the blues and the greens. I just enjoyed it. Um, and what I did was I tried to make them match in that I did all the vines in the same green. So I did them all at the same time rather than tackling one at a time. I did so all those rounded bits are the same colour and things like that. So uh, a bit like I did it after I did those four matching houses. So I sort of thought, you know, I do it similarly. And it was really, I enjoyed it. Now this one here is a video for Valentine's that I did for you. Um... It was Stedler Design Journey. This page though was done in Ergosoft. No video for this one. I just had a, I just enjoyed myself doing some florals. I didn't, I sort of, once I'd done those two and that one, I thought I'd make that one sort of orangey so it sort of matched that one. They sort of match-ish, you know. Now this one, um, a lot of people did as a series so I decided not to again because so many people had already done it so um, I did it on my own and this was um, done with polychromos I think let me see yeah now this also polychromos um, I wasn't confident enough to do these dogs as a series because I've never colored dogs before and I wasn't really sure how to color them but actually I had I was really happy with how they came out, so I could have easily have recorded that, but, you know, it's a bit late now. <laughs> but you can still look at it and pinch my ideas. Go ahead. I mean, it's quite simple, really. Just a different brown for each dog, and then, um, you know, different colours. This was a six-part series of rainbow boats. Um, I did get my rainbow round the wrong way. Um, the um, indigo and violet around the wrong way on this one and this one which I know and this one which bugged a few people I'm sure but I'm sorry about that but um, it was it was really good just doing something really bright and different I don't normally do things like this so that was that was good and polychromos for that one now this one I did with Ergosoft um, it was interesting just trying to uh, make the bottle's sort of shiny and things like that. didn't think it was necessary to have a background around the outside of the bottle, although I've got a bit of colour transfer from my boats creating a, there's a There's a faint rainbow on there, which is quite interesting, which is where doing a background can give you an advantage because it covers over that sort of thing. But then it would go over onto this page, so you can't win, really. This one, again, I did very early on. I'm pretty sure that must be polychromos, yes, that's polychromos pencils. I went around the edge of the water in a white pen to make it look a bit more watery. So that was that one. And then over here again, matching colours. Um, partly because I don't know what colour to colour houses. So once I decide, I can just do them all the same. Um, so maybe it's just lazy, I don't know. But that's chromaflow pencils. Use the raisin for the roofs and then the grey. The grey's quite pale in my set. Um, so, is it platinum? I think. Um, but anyway, I was uh, I was happy with how it all came out in the end. Now these were done with metallic pencils. They don't um, really shine that much. You know, metallic pencils aren't like pens. They don't have like the pens that have been used on here. You can see the shine. But um, I've just enjoy using them, so I thought I would have a go. Um, they're the um, Brute Funa um, 50 metallic pencil set. Um, yeah, and I just coloured those um, and I thought I would do them one sort of more cold colours and one warmer colours. 
Now these were done, some of them as my advent calendar, some of them I use colour cube cards, um, Sarah Renee Clark's, I haven't got them with me, I don't know which ones I use for which. These I copied some colours by Rita Berman in some pictures she'd done. Um, she uses the most beautiful um, colour mixtures and then I did a few myself and then I used a few colour cube cards and it's all a bit random and they've all got a um, metallic pen on the outside, some silver, some gold. There's a pink one as well and this, the um, stems on all of them but this one are coloured over in a sparkle glitter pen. I forgot on that one obviously. This was a six part series as well. I really enjoyed doing this. I hope there's a lot more of these in Johanna's new book. I think she said there'd be a couple of pages, so I hope so. Um, I used metallic pencils. They were the, um, I've just written metallic. Oh, I think I varied it. So sometimes it was the Brute Funas and sometimes it was the castle. The backgrounds are done in a, in a glitter pen. And then the, the big background here is done in not sure whether it's pastel. I think it is. Pastel with a blending. I don't know. It's a bit stripy. Do I try and blend the pastel with a blender? I don't know. Don't know, but they're videos. So you can go and have a look. <laughs> now these are done in um this looks like metallic pencil as well. Let me just turn over. Yes, these are the Brute Funa 50 metallic pencils. Um, as well. I mixed them up a bit in some places to get uh, different colours so that was interesting. I enjoyed that one. Now this one I used my Giorgione pencils and I didn't like them at all. Um, I didn't like the way they went down on the paper. I didn't like the fact that I, the range of greens is a bit limited because I've used up quite a few of the greens um, in the set and I don't know I wasn't very happy with it but it was a page that I was daunted by anyway so I really should have used a set of pencils that I liked but I don't know why I didn't. Now this page I used Black Widow Spider pencils I think I think for that one and this page I used Tombows. Now I find with Tombows they're either very pale like here or very dark and there's nothing in between so it's quite difficult when you're trying to do a page like this because you get some dark and some light and it doesn't seem to match up somehow so I don't know if it was the best choice of pencil really for that page. This page I used a bit of a mix. I used polychromos for the flowers and then the backgrounds are done with a metallic pencil. I used Brute Funa but they didn't um, they, they're quite liney, you know, I can see my pencil strokes on them. So I probably should have done a few more layers of pencil, but I don't know. But it was just an interesting one. And this background's far too dark because you can't really see the uh, flowers. So uh, it wasn't the best um, choice, but there we go. Now this page is my favourite page in the whole book. And I did a series of videos for each of these. I just love colouring fruit. I don't know why. So uh, so I had a really good time doing those. They're done with polychromos. As I say, there's a video for each one. This one um, I also did with um, polychromos and I wanted to make it look a bit special. So I did these little, uh, my phone's ringing. There was no one there. So I wanted to make this look a little bit special, but I didn't want to do a whole big background so I just did these little sparkles around it it was just a bit of you know something a bit different and I think it worked quite well to be honest but uh, I enjoy colouring all these little bits and pieces but I'm not sure I did gooseberries in the bottom maybe by then by the time you've eaten right down there you're not hungry anymore so you don't you can leave those <laughs> right tortoise this is a video um, I'm not sure if it was one or two can't remember but um, he's um, there's a sort of pastel background with a cloud stencil and things like that going on with that one and he is coloured in um, polychromos, a lot of polychromos now. This one also. Now I wanted to do 
something with similar colours I thought would look nice. But the background of each of these is done with a different metallic pencil polychromo. So we've got the silver, the gold and the copper. Is it copper or bronze? Can't remember. Um, you can see how the metallic pencils are a bit rubbish, but I just feel like I ought to use them sometimes. <laughs> so I use them there and I, yeah, they're a bit there. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just wanted something purple. Now these Seasons wreaths, I've recorded these, um, so the spring one will be coming up fairly soon. Um, I just did it in one video. And then um, this is the summer one, which I've also recorded as a video. I'm not sure when I'll put that out, because obviously we're not near summer yet. Um, but we'll see, it'll go out at some point. Um, then this autumn one has already come out as has the Christmas one. Um, these were done in in several parts, whereas I just did these in one part each yesterday. Um, I don't know why I did it a bit more quickly than these, or maybe the video was just a lot longer. Now these birds, I really enjoyed these. Um, unfortunately, I got my paper wet here. I don't know how. I don't know if I spat on it. <laughs> if I spilled my tea, I'm not sure or um, my hands were wet or something but the pastel didn't sit there very well but it doesn't matter but I just I didn't use a cloud stencil I just went splodge bodge bodge which was quite fun the pencils there are um, polychromos again and I just kept the birds really plain I was going to do them like red cardinals because that's what I thought they looked like but we don't get them in this country and I didn't have any idea how to colour them I was in a lazy mood I couldn't be bothered to look up how to do it and I just decided to do it like that and actually I'm happy. You know, they might not be bright and cheerful, but I still like them a lot. So, yeah. This page, um, again, isn't video. It sort of has the potential in a way, but I wasn't overly excited by it. So I didn't do a video. I just, I've missed that bit there, look. Um, <laughs> so I just had to go on my own, like the, like the um, hummingbird. And um, I did it um with I'm just trying to see um polychromos again so uh, that's that one now again matching houses um I rather like the fact that they match each other um they were done um again with polychromos I did that did I do that yesterday I think I might have done these are a video love these flowers um, Ergosoft I used for this and there's six videos for these I just yeah I just think they're so pretty like the hand tied bouquets just the simplicity really appeals to me because then you haven't got much to worry about so you can spend a little bit more time getting in a few details but you don't have to that's that one this one I did yesterday as well um, not a video um, just coloured them in I know one person did ask me to do them as a video but I just um want to do this I've got so many videos to be honest to get out to you I've got really ahead massively ahead um to with two a day so uh, I just colored these on my own had some fun um enjoyed the key particularly but I liked all of these they were good um and they were done with polychromos now these two dragons were done as videos a long time ago um I used um Hang on, those were done with Chromaflow. I think I said it wrong, Chromaflow. These two dragons done in uh, Castle Arts. There's a bit of a background on them as well. I think because I didn't draw any ground in it, it sort of worked, but I think for these background, I'm not sure. I mean, some people separate them off to a bit for each, but I couldn't really, didn't really think it was necessary. Now I had a lot of fun with these, um, these were a sort of Christmassy idea, I tried to do sort of Christmas palettes, maybe not really but you know, and they were done with Ergosoft pencils. These florals were done with polychromos, just a random mix really, I didn't try and make them match each other or anything, I just did lots of colour. Now these were a video series, six videos, one for each. I really loved these designs. I had such fun colouring those in. Um, polychromos. I really love this one too, our narwhal. Um, he was done in polychromos as well. 
did this one this morning, final picture of the book. Um, I considered doing a bit of pastel around it, but in the end I thought it was quite nice leaving it plain. I didn't want to cover over the words. Um, I used polychromos for that. Then the test page did this little teeny one. I spent ages on this one. It was such a lot of fun using my polychromos. And then, oops, this one here as well, polychromos. I coloured that when I did the flip through of the book when it was new. So there is a video of that one. And that is the end. So I haven't done the back cover. It has got a little bit grubby as well. But there we go. So there is the um, whole book. So I hope that has inspired you a little bit to uh, do a little bit on yours. There's lots of videos from the book um, that you can go and have a look at. Um, and and hopefully, um, yes, hopefully you're enjoying your copy. But thank you so much for watching. As I said, um, you can download this um, index sheet if you wish to from... Um, from my Kofi shop and uh, it might help you just to keep a note of what you're doing I don't know um, it's uh, useful for me because I make the video so it's to tell you what I've used but um, um, I don't know if other people like doing that sort of thing also I know some people write the date they've completed on their book so it might mean that you don't have to do that you can just keep it in the book and you don't have to write it on which might save you if some people you don't like writing it on their own pages anyway i've waffled enough so thank you so much for watching please please subscribe like and maybe comment on the video it's uh, i really appreciate it if you do that so thank you for that have a really super day and happy coloring